Hi everybody, Dr. Bree here from Empowered Physiotherapy. As always, hoping to help you build a more resilient body and mind. Today's topic is going to be how to help you pass the flow of urine if you're having trouble getting it out. This isn't a terribly uncommon problem. There's a lot of different things that can cause it. It's always best to get evaluated by a professional, but in the meantime, there are some things that you can do to help mitigate some of that discomfort and help you feel like you're fully emptying your bladder. So let me show you. So the first about are about things that you can do to help better position yourself. So I have on my feet a stool. You might have heard of the squatty potty. This is just a regular stool from the dollar store. In fact, I really like it because it's easily to it folds up easily. And if you're like me, you might be a little short and it's good to have around the house anyway. And then once you fold it up, you can just slide it and tuck it away out of sight. The squatty potty also has a feature where it slides underneath and it does keep your legs a little bit wider. Um, but if you're on a budget, this is a great option. So you want your feet nice and wide and the purpose of this is to help bring your knees above your hips and this helps several different muscles that move from the pubic bone around various orifices um, in, the, in the pelvic floor to help it relax. So once you have this position, some people find spreading the legs and just leaning forward is enough to help get more of the urine out. In this position, you can also try to just blow out of your mouth gently. Some people like to say as though you're blowing candles. And in this case, your, your belly might extend a little bit and we want that, we want it to soften so that the pelvic floor can fully relax. Another option in a similar position is to do some rocking back and forth. So like you're rocking up towards your pubic bone and then back towards your tailbone. You can even do some circles, one way and then the other. And a lot of these same motions can be helpful if you're having constipation or you have some difficulty getting all of your bowels out. So this one's a little interesting. It's called sacral stimulation, but actually if you gently stroke or tickle the skin on the lower back or the tailbone, the sacrum at the top of the, of the tailbone, it can help um, stimulate some urine via a reflex. And then the last piece is to do what's called the double void technique. So you try to go, you stand up and then you do some movement or maybe you take some deep breaths, do some of those same rocking pelvic motions you did sitting, sit down, repeat the process, and you might find it's a little easier to empty your bladder fully. However, while those are all things that you can do, there are still some things that you should not do that will help you be more successful. So as a general rule, we don't want to push pee, which is where we try to push and force the urine out. That's not the job of the pelvic floor during urination. The job of the pelvic floor during your urination, just like when you're having a bowel movement, is simply to get out of the way and let your bladder or your other organs inside do their job. So no push peeing. Also, I know it can be hard, especially um, with the current health scare and the pandemic, people are afraid to touch surfaces, but we don't want to hover over the toilet seat. No hovering. And the reason for this is because when we hover, our leg muscles and our core muscles, and by default, our pelvic floor muscles, are on and engaged, they're really tight, and that's gonna make it even more difficult for the bladder to do its job. And then last but not least, no going pee just in case. And that can be really hard for those of us like myself who have jobs that may be based on appointments or meetings, and you feel like you just need to rush and get all the pee out before you move on to the next thing. But you're really doing a little more harm than good in terms of making your pelvic floor do the work that the bladder should be doing. So try to just sit back, relax, and let the pelvic floor uh, get out of the way so that your bladder can do its job. Hopefully these tips and tricks help you so that you feel like you can just get everything out the first time and you don't have to uh, have that discomfort as you go about your day. If you'd like some more videos about bladder health and habits, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to make those. I am a pelvic floor and orthopedic physical therapist, so I love talking about all the things physical therapy. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.